the most common thing is probably concussion. There's been, I don't know how, numerous times where I've seen someone come backstage and they don't know what's going on and it's because they've done a really risky move or something where they've landed on their head and knocked themselves out. I've witnessed quite a few hardcore matches and where they've come backstage and they've done something silly with the barbed wire and they've got a big slash that's gone through their skin it's quite deep as well or there might be shards of glass stuck in their back from using light tubes. Just last night we were talking about uh, a guy we know that wrestles when he landed he reached with his arms so his arms came down with all his body weight on top of it and he snapped his arm um, so that was one that was pretty bad and it's um, bad to watch as well because you could see everything happening. All the entertainment side is what really drew me in. The big characters, the bad guys and the good guys, you really wanted to see um, how things would turn out and it really drew you in so you couldn't stop watching. They always thought it was a bit different. Maybe they didn't realize how serious it was like you know I'd say oh I'm a, a wrestler or I'm training to be a wrestler and they go oh yeah that's kind of funny but um, yeah it wasn't I guess until later on in in my career when I'd been wrestling for a number of years they're like oh you're still wrestling like oh you're serious about this mum was very supportive of it I don't think dad has really seen me wrestle before mum would take me every week to train and come to every show she was just supportive I don't know if she thought that I would stick with it and want to make a career out of it in the end, but she knew that I loved it and that it was making me happy at the time. You have to eat really strict because you're training so hard, your body needs all the protein and everything to put back to make you stronger. Doing cardio for longer and really, really intense weights as well. The, there's no time for you know, to think about, oh, I need this to make myself feel better. You have to eat really clean um, every meal of the day and make sure you're at the gym and nothing else matters as much. By the time I got into my WWE tryout, I was in the shape I wanted to be in, really focused and determined um, to everyone else that was judging me. And they could tell that it was a passion of mine because I've, I worked so hard to get to where I was. I'm only 22, but I haven't been to a club in I don't know how long and I I drink maybe four times a year on a special occasion. Friendships you had through school or work and I mean you lose a lot of those bonds and, and things that normal people can keep up with but I'm constantly moving and it's all to, to work towards that goal of, of being in the WWE and being a wrestler for the rest of my career. I don't think it's for many people to be honest and it's not easy either. If you want to be serious about it, it's a lot of sacrifices and a lot of hard work. But, you know, you can kind of see people that might be involved now, but it's really just for fun or they're not taking it seriously. And I probably wouldn't tell that person to, to go after it. I'd tell them maybe get a backup. Do you have a backup? Nope. <laughs> they give a contract to one person. They see how we work together, they, they test our personalities, you know, see if we'll give up, if they push us a bit, and trying to wear us out and see how long we can go for, you know, to see how much patience we have and how much we want to learn. The four days we had the tryouts were most exciting and scary week of my life and something I had wanted and waited for for so long, for years and years. You know, I trained so hard leading up to that and ate so clean and didn't do anything fun for months and months, didn't even celebrate my birthday. I kept telling myself, um, you know, it's okay, it was just a good experience, you know, because I thought, what were the chances that I would actually uh, get a contract with the WWE? Um, but then when they actually read out my name at, at the end of that, camp um it was the best day of my life like uh, I just sat there and bawled my eyes out for about five or ten minutes and then um
uh, it's still just doesn't even feel real like it's just something it's just something I wanted for so long and just to think that I actually went there and like it was a dream and I did make it come true and it's just such a cool thing almost every day I sit whether it's in my car on the way to the gym or somewhere and I just think that was like the, the coolest week of my life and I got I had learned so much and I had so much fun and they actually called out my name and gave me a contract and that um it's just something I'll never forget.